I've still been going out to care for my mum uh, who's got dementia so it's been difficult because I've not been able to take her out anywhere because she was under the high risk so uh, my husband's carried on working he has his home business so but because he does specialised things he's been able to go into his office but he did have to furlough some staff it's been definitely a task at times and but it's definitely different and uh, don't get me wrong, I know it's the right thing at the minute and I know it's what we need to be doing at the minute, so I'm quite alright with that. People who are working from home who, who aren't in the city now who would normally be having lunch with us, so that's kind of how yeah. it's, it's beginning for us right now as we've just started coming back to work, really. Yeah, a lot of our um, regular customers are from the local offices and they're not back in the office yet. So we decided to change our opening time slightly. We'll be doing just Thursdays to Sundays. So, you know, the last few months has been uh, quite busy in setting up new procedures and, you know, busy in a different way. It's been a bit difficult with the buses um, because of the, the um, changing from normal bus service to Saturday and Sunday service. I do, like, book work, admin work. So I've been working from home, but my husband is self-employed and he's still at home all through it and he can't go back till the 24th of August so it has been quite difficult for him mentally. So I'm basically sleeping from, from 4 o'clock in the morning till about 10. I'm used to going to bed at like 2 in the morning getting up at like half 7 because I've got a nephew so and what I've been doing during the day is continuing with Duolingo. I'm also teaching my father at the same time. I do want to be back. I do want to be getting back into the swing of things get back to college, get back to the building. So I'm around the staff, I'm around, you know, socialising again, getting that socialising bit back is definitely important to me. 